Are there hidden ingredients that Harry and I are eating that may be causing an issue and stalling our weight? I'm thinking there's one and I'm going to try it today with our food testing. So you guys come back and I'll share. Good morning everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry, and our little Chihuahua is Miss Little Sally Girl. Hey everyone, we are doing a September Let's Break This Stall and Raise Our Ketones. And we have been doing food experiments. Oh, as part of our protocol, and the Ugh. way and the reason why I call it a protocol is because we don't tell you what kinds of foods to eat or what type of food groups to eat. We just tell you that we are narrowing our food eating window. We are adding two longer fasts, a 20 hour and 24 hour fast. We are adding an OMAD day. We are um, also testing our glucose and ketones every single day. We are testing two foods every single week. And speaking of which, my fingers I hurt. am thinking that there is a common food that Harry and I have been using uh, more over the past two years than we have been. And I'm wondering if I need to change that ingredient, if that's the ingredient that's causing an issue. And the reason why I say that is twofold. This morning, my ketones were the lowest. They were a 0.4, and I have not had low ketones. Now, Harry's were a five, but a um, little queasy this morning. Harry had some intestinal issues. And I'll explain what I think about that in just a minute, but I wanna share with everybody what we did have to eat yesterday, you guys. And speaking of yesterday, if you noticed, we put the cake recipe out on Loving Out on Keto. Harry's SIM card was corrupted, the one that we filmed with yesterday. And he didn't find out until we were done and he went to offload it and it was a mess. So everything that we did yesterday did not come through and we apologize for that. So instead of putting the cake on the Keto Cooking with Wendy, he put it on Loving Out on Keto so you guys would have something Plus it was pretty long. to see. Plus it was a long cake because it was involved because of that browned butter. I'm telling you guys, that I've been using that brown butter in my eggs. I've been telling you about it, but to add it into sweets, Woo, it takes it up to a new level. Anyway, you guys, let me share what we had to eat. And if you hear our phones going off, we, we uh, added to our blink, like eyeball blink, blink, blink system, security system, a camera over by Arvita up in a palm tree. And he's got cats, and I think it's the cat freeway back and forth. He's got four cats next door, and it's between the two, and we think it's too sensitive. Blink sends us a picture of which camera is going off all around the house. So we have to learn how to get it to the right sensitivity for small animals and stuff. So you're going to hear, bleep, bleep. it's not people texting us, it's Blink going off. Blink woke me up this morning talking to me at 5 45 a.m because the cats come over we keep a big bowl of water on our front porch for any animal bird that needs water here in the desert and so we get a lot of cats coming over first thing in the morning and uh, it was going off now what we had to eat yesterday let me share let me share I used to do bird water in the backyard. Big, but big now that we have there. hawks, we're not doing yeah, that. Not where doing they it. can come to the front on our porch. Because it makes them come here to get the birds. Now. Here you go. We had a total of 1,665. Total carbs are 52. Total carbs. I'll explain in a minute. Protein. See? Blink. Motion detected at your RV. Protein. Cats are 105. Busy. They are. Fat, 132 grams. Okay, you guys. We had chicken thighs for dinner, Kerrygold butter, primal mayo. We had uh, pumpkin spice caramel cake. And where did my pumpkin spice caramel cake? And there we are. 
wait a minute. Yeah, pumpkin spice caramel cake. I had half of a, a serving of keto chow pumpkin spice caramel ice cream and Anthony's uh, powdered butter, you guys. We had cake and ice cream with David and Chalice when they came. Then Harry and I had dinner, chicken thighs with Kerrygold butter and primal mayonnaise mixed together. And then we had another slice of cake. So we had two slices of that cake. And if you go here and you look at our net carbs, we're only 10 because supposedly sugar alcohols do not have any effect on your weight. Now, I've read two articles where they say potentially they could. And it was quite interesting and I don't remember where I read them, but I was zooming through stuff uh, looking for uh, information on the internet. And it was quite interesting because of how we feel today. Chicken doesn't bother us. Mayonnaise doesn't bother us. Butter doesn't bother us. Keto chow does not bother us. So the wild card was the Lily's pumpkin spice chips we have not tested. And all of the wheat Harry, we did not test the pumpkin spice chips we tested the butterscotch chocolate chips oh okay these have totally different ingredients uh, in them okay that makes sense then all right so i'll i'll explain why next next wait we both went up went up four tenths harry went up four tenths now we had higher uh calories up 1,666, right? Almost 300 more than we used to have. And we had the Lily's chocolates and we had a lot of erythritol. A lot yesterday. Oh, really? What? Well, yeah, we had two slices of cake. All oh, right, okay. And the first slice was a pretty big slice. I think it was bigger than the slice that we should have had. But... I'm thinking, do we want to test the chips? Because the chips have erythritol, cocoa butter, dextrose. Oh, now I know why my stomach's bothering me. Chicory root fiber. Oh. I can't eat chicory root fiber. Right. Natural flavors from red beet concentrate. Well, then we can't check them either. We can't pa test them. Paprika. Spirulina concentrate, sunflower lectin, salt, and stevia extracts. Do you want to try these instead? Well, we can't. You can't have them. You'll just. Well, just yeah, I can't have them, period, now. Right. So, did the chicory root flour and the sunflower lecithin have anything to do with it? Or is it too much erythritol monk fruit extract? Well, I would and think I it's that, that now. Yeah. So should we test this? Yeah, I'll test it. You can't. Well, do you want to do... We, I was going to test this in our coffee. Okay, well, let's do that too. We can't. No, we have to test I'll do that food. and that, and you'll do just that. You can't do this and, and this. It's one food. So choose. Choose your poison. I want, I'll try that with you. With coffee. Yeah, with coffee. Because after two hours... Then we'll I can know. do that. Yeah, we'll know off of that. And if it's not that, we know it's that, see? Yeah. It's just the process of elimination. Yeah, I woke up. Harry had, you had stomach issues this morning too. I'm not feeling good. I'm queasy and my blood sugar is lower. And I did not think it would be this, but I thought, what well, if those are the two wild cards and I had two slices, right? Sometimes you can have, it's like those Russell Stover, um, uh, sugar-free candies that were the first ones out there in, in, in the limelight. You eat more than one of those and whoo, man, you've got issues because it's a maltitol. It's a, it's a sugar alcohol. So this is what we're doing. We're going to test this and we're going to put a nice big tablespoon. What, Harry? You, you haven't pointing? said about, you haven't said we're going to see that yet. Oh, thank you. 
Um, first, we're going to install our morning glucose and ketones test so you can see our fasted test this morning prior to us starting our food test. He's going to put it right here. I uh, just changed out the lancet. Yes, I did. Harry just did his. I'm doing mine. And then we're going to come back and talk. Yes, we are. Now we're going to have coffee first. No, we're not. We have to talk because we do. Whatever. What do you mean? <laughs> Whatever. Harry's such a happy camper in the morning. Man. Ooh, grouchy boy. It's very dark over in this one corner. Is it? This corner. Because the light over there. This corner. I didn't put a light over there. Lazy. Yeah. And grumpy. You're a grumpy, grumpy guy. That too. Yeah, you're a grumpy guy. Sally, what you doing? She's all done. She's gonna go she's gonna go sit on her little couch. Yep, she goes. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. She's just making sure. I know she's got, no, sounds, no, like, no, sounds like she's no, got a, sounds no, like, no. like she's got a hairball well, right? going on. Part cat. Figured out how to do it finally. Oh my gosh. Yeah, watch out. You got to I know. I got it sticking up. Don't do what I did this morning. Had a really great one. Uh oh. Point four. That tears it. I am doing a food taste test. I'm doing a food test today, you guys. I'm going to come back and talk all about it. That's the lowest I think I've ever been. I'm trying to see my. Let's see what this is. 95. Uh, better me. Well, 0.4, it's got to be at least a 0.5 or it's not even worth doing a GKI. Oh, I know. Can't see it. You're in the dark. Wow. That That's one hurt. Good one. Ooh, better bleed. Okay, now get it going. Just want to touch it. See, it just goes right up. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Finally figured it out. Don't don't do don't it. Don't wipe it off. Why? You're not are you, are you 105. Well, yes. Down. You went down. down. So let's do that, because I think yeah, and you're already at a five, so that's Yeah, fine. don't even bother with the waste and the ketone strip. Yeah. You guys thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for the glucose and the glucose ketone strips because I'm telling you. We're already through a whole nother box and into another box and another box. That enables us to do this food test, trust me. Because I, huh, I'm upset. And we'll come back and talk about it. Yes, we will. But here You're I am upset? Gonna... Unbelievable. Yes. No, I don't get upset. Uh -huh, I know. No, I know about it. I'm a sweet disposition all the time. Oh, yeah. All the time. Oh, oh we all know. Yes, we do. Now, I think we need to put a big tablespoon of this. It's going to be super sweet. Should we do a tablespoon or should we have two cups with a teaspoon each? I'll just put it in one. We'll just down it. Okay. Well, we've got a pretty big cup. Yeah. And I'm going to get... We'll have oh. to make the coffee. Well, let me just get... I know you do. Just wait. Just wait, little boy. He's been bugging me for coffee yes. all morning. You haven't had my coffee. I'm, I'm Jally bought him this cup at Hobby Lobby, and this is my fall cup. So, yes, this is going to be sweet, but we've got to have enough, right? Yeah. There it goes. That's a whole tablespoon. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. And this is confectioner sugar. Harry's going to make some Black Rifle coffee, because that's what he has out. Yep. And then we will sip our coffee, watch today's video. Then we will start the clock after our last sip and come back with you guys 30 minutes after we drink our black coffee with a tablespoon <laughs> of the erythritose and it's monk like drinking fruit. Syrup, if we right? can get it down. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, come back in the next segment because this is going to be interesting. But I have a feeling now after read, and I didn't read the. See, I am my own worst enemy. I tell you to read every single label 
even though it's the same ingredients like Lily's, for instance, because it has different ingredients. I preach it all the time. Did Wendy do it? No. Someone gifted me those and I had them and I was excited. I pulled them out of the container in the back cupboard and I just started using them. So, man, you got to read Okay, let's have coffee now. See? <laughs> yes, Marty. We're having your coffee now. Thank you. Bring Harry along, please. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, push push the button now. Is the button pushed now, yes. dear? Yes. As I start doing it. I want to make sure all of it's off the bottom. Started pouring it, and Harry didn't have the button pushed. I don't want the same thing happening. Too early. As yesterday. Oh man, I need to make more coffee. Yeah. That one cup that Charlie My, bought me, it really it sucks holds up a the lot. coffee. So man. does this one. And we're gonna need more coffee because, and we're using a stronger uh, blend too because. Yeah, I'm using the black black rifle. This black morning. rifle because we are using so much. We had to be able to taste stuff. Because we're having sweetener. Okay, you guys, let me taste. Uh -oh. You're gonna taste it? it? Yes, I'm gonna take. Wait a minute, I need more coffee. I'm well, gonna you gotta take. face this, man. Well, I want. All I see is the back. And how's my hair look? Because you never tell me anymore, Harry. Because it looks perfect. Because you love a rat's nest in the back of my perfect. hair. Because it looks perfect. He always does, you guys always see the back of my hair. It's because when I sit on the couch, it's all rubbed up. It's a rat's nest. And well, everything. comb it once I in a see, while. You're looking through a lens. Well, comb, comb it once in a while. That's what people are seeing. Comb it. I comb it all the time. I'm taking this hot coffee right here and pouring Talking it Talking about my the cup. back. What did I just say? Take oh, you guys, he's being so mean to me. He's picking on me. Drink, being mean drink, to drink me. your syrup. I'm afraid. I know, right? <laughs> Go for it. I'm Come afraid. on. I'm afraid. Okay. Oh. Syrup? Actually, it's not yeah. bad, huh? No, because it's confectioner sugar, so it's ground. All right. I don't know. That probably makes it thicker. This is strong coffee. Oh yeah, it's really yeah. It's strong. not my. I make it's it. Not I make my, it like super it's, strong. It's not my coffee. Oh my gosh. I make when I when I use uh, black rifle, I make it yeah. really thick. And that's what this is, you guys. So trust me, we are not having sweet coffee. I have black rifle when I want to have a real Maybe, good Maybe you know hit. what? Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more. <laughs> Harry, you made it so. Did you make it strong on purpose? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's the only no. way to drink black rifle. No. Oh yeah. I need a half more. I'm, I'm serious. <gasps> you can't do that. That's gonna screw up the no, taste. No, it isn't, because you're gonna have a half more too. Oh, I am. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Whether that where I where right. I go, you go. Oh my You get to gosh. follow. Didn't Ruth say that? Whether thou goest, I will follow. Yeah, but it didn't say that in the in 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 the. Said it in the Bible. The yes, it did. Ceremony that we had. Yes, it did. <laughs> oh, you guys! I'm if she on. jumpeth off cliff, you shall jumpeth off cliff. I'm what a to, bet! I'm supposed to follow you, actually, but I'm the leader right now. Yeah, I'm the leader well, right believe now. me, Wendy, you've always been the leader. <sighs> That's manageable. I don't like black rifle coffee. It's too strong for me. Oh, anyway, good. you guys, we're gonna drink this, and our eyes are gonna peel off the back of well, our head. You know what? The eyelids are gonna flip over. It's gonna over. be huge, and we'll come back in 30 minutes and do a test. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. Harry's drying off his hands right now, and this is the 30-minute mark of that coffee. And you guys, that coffee is way too strong for me. Oh, I do so not good. care for uh, so Black good. Rifle. Sorry, so at least the way so Harry good. made it. Yes. No, still mementos See, that's how I make coffee for me before she gets up. Come on, let's get this done. Oh, sorry. Got to do it. This is our erythritol monk fruit test. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I'm doing everything. I'm washing my hands. You guys. I am stuff. having nothing but intestinal issues this morning. Oh, I yeah. have well, raging mine's, mine's loose like, stools. You, Harry's having gas. I, I I think it's the chicory root. I'm staying 94, away from 94, I have not, it has not changed at all. It's 94. Let's see. 94, exactly. Just stick it right in the middle. 
かちゃん。うん。How come you can't do it? There you go. I, I have a sneaking suspicion. We're gonna have to do it tomorrow just, just because I'm, I have a feeling it's. 94. 94. Well, yours went down a little. Yeah. Okay, you guys, come back because I have been reading your comments and I w a n t to share. Ooh. Yes, I do. Okay, I've been reading everybody's comments and my mind has been going crazy、uh, from my、uh, Wendy's. Pumpkin spice caramel cake, you guys, and my browned butter. How about if we all brown butter and then add ground seasoned cinnamon, add some cinnamon, add some vanilla, get it cooled down, bring it back out, whip it. And then have spread for our toast in the morning. Oh, that's like、uh, for our chaffles in the morning. Yeah. You guys, Sue, Judy, you guys are all throwing stuff at me, and I'm thinking now you can still you can add stevia drops to that. You can add or no sweetener because I'm telling you it's sweet enough. But can you imagine every morning making your homemade、um, toast with Butter with cinnamon and vanilla in it. Well, turn it on. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you guys, I, during the lockdown, the only butter they had at one point was unsalted. So I got the Kirkland unsalted butter, and I have had this in the freezer. So I just took out two. They're frozen, so they're going to take a while to melt. So you're going to add some salt to it then? I hate unsalted butter. Okay. Did you like the butter that was in the bread and everything else? I'll just put a little salt I in it. I don't know because. I'll put a little salt in it. Because I cook with unsalted butter. The reason butter I say that is the because、time. there's a bunch of other flavors connected with it. So I don't、okay. know. I'll put a little salt. I don't know. Okay, how about this? I'm going to brown the butter. We're going to cool it off. We're going to put it in the freezer and solidify it. I think you should have. Then,、used. let me finish. Please, Harry, don't be Marty. Don't be a Marty. Don't you be a Marty. You need to go take your shower now. I know, come on. Man, whoo, scary looking in the morning, isn't he, folks? You always tell I'm coming in the morning. So here's、room. the deal I'm using unsweetened butter. I'm g o n n a brown it. Then I'm g o n n a put it in the refrigerator. Then I'm g o n n a whip it. Add some cinnamon and vanilla, taste it, and if Harry wants me to, I will add some salt to it. And I may even add some English toffee because I'm going to keep that in my refrigerator and use it on toast and chaffles and French toast and pancakes. Oh, yeah! So, you guys, this is I have been inspired by you and your comments today on all the things I can use this for. Or you can make little pucks out of them with the cinnamon, with the vanilla, and instead of just having the plain uh, carnivore uh, brown sugar toffee like Judy made, make it even more special. Make it this way. So, you guys, let's brown this butter right now, shall we? Good. A lot of you have asked me about my red copper pants. They are special because they are not coated with silicon, they are ceramic inside. Ceramic is sturdier, it stays strong, it, it is just a totally different ball game than the old Teflon、uh, pans. Someone said, Well, are they red copper because they have copper in them? No, they do not. They're just copper colored. That's why they are called red copper. And、um, I just wanted to let, the, let you guys know now can you use metal? I would never use metal like I'm using this in here because I'm just pushing my stuff around. I would just use the silicon、um, or spoons, you know, or your plastic spoons that you have or a wooden spoon. And the reason for that is I want to keep my pan as pristine as possible. Because you can have micro little scrapings on it, but and I have not used that on mine. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's ceramic.
It's much sturdier, and I think that the Teflon pans are the ones that stick eventually. And I just like pushing mine around so it's not the same butter on the bottom. See how foamy it gets? So it foams and it bubbles as it is browning and cooking the milk solids that are in with your butter. The oil part is the ghee. So the ghee would be the oil you would separate from the milk solids if you wanted ghee. If you were lactose intolerant, you could eat the ghee part, which is the oil. But we are cooking all those milk solids right now. It's so funny because all the years that I have been using browned butter and preaching it for eggs, I never thought about the sweetness of it. And that's probably why I like it in my eggs. It just it just adds so much flavor. Mm. Now I'm just going to have browned butter all the time and stuff. When I have chaffles, when I have um, bread, make it my own browned butter with vanilla and uh, a little bit of English uh, toffee stevia. And if you guys don't want to use any sweeteners, don't, because this will sweeten it automatically for you. Give it you something rich and delicious. Oh yeah, I am really excited about it now. Use brown butter and your spices and some your um, Worcestershire sauce and make something to go on top of a meatloaf or on chicken or, oh yeah, my brain is going crazy right now. And the good news is you can brown it, put it in your freezer, bring it out and reuse it, or keep it in your refrigerator. Okay, I smell it, it's starting to brown. I'm telling you, you will smell it immediately when it starts to brown, you guys. See the brown? Uh-oh, I'm gonna need another bowl. Well, it's because you made two. Yeah. You'll be able to make it. Just let some of the foam go away. You got a lot of foam. You got about a quarter inch oh, of foam I know. in there. It'll go away. Yeah, it'll, it'll go down really quick. And all I'm doing is cooling it off and making it solid so I can whip it. Whip it in a little bit, you guys, in between doing my tests. Yeah, you need to whip it good. I'm going to whip so it whip really it. good so that, so that <laughs> everything stays in it so we can just do a dollop of it every morning in our, in our coffee. It's going to make it so dang delicious, you guys. So I'm going to let this cool off. I'm going to solidify it in my refrigerator once it's cool. Then sometime today, I'm going to come back and add these to it. So that in the morning, I just take a tablespoon and put it in my coffee. And I have got majorly, stupendously delicious coffee treats every single morning. And you guys can add what you want to to this. Right. You know, it'd probably be good to buy a silicon mold and pour a little. Well, I have some silicon molds that I can do that with. I just hearts. Yeah, what's it? It's good. Good to try so out. So what I'll do is when I'm done here, and once it solidifies and once I whip it, I've got to clean these hearts, and then I'll keep them in the freezer, and I just pop out a heart for Harry and a heart for me, or two hearts. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's good. I'll measure them to see if it's a tablespoon or not. Matter of fact, I can do that right now because yeah. I'm going to be uh, washing them anyway. So let me get something to put some water in real quick. You're going to wash it? Yeah, I'm going to wash them, but I'm going to throw it out anyway so it doesn't matter. So here, just, just wait a minute. Okay, you guys, it's been an additional 30 minutes for a total of an hour. I already have everything primed and set, Harry. We're doing just this or these? Just, just glucose. Oh, this is at 60 minutes. Guys, this is getting crazy. Oh, that's not good. My hands look like they have, I don't know. I have a newfound, like I said, I have a newfound respect for people that have to poke their finger a million times. I'm going first. Okay. Did you wipe it? Wipe what? Yes, the first one, yeah. Okay, why isn't this working? Eighty-nine. That's all it takes is a dinky winky amount if you do it right. One ten. So I did have a spike. Okay, you guys. One hour. One hour. 
go. Okay, you guys, this is our last test, and we're doing ketones. I do not think it's the allulose, but I, I mean, I, not allulose, the erythritol the, monk fruit. Yeah. I think it Where's potentially mine? is actually, oh, sad to say, the lilies, and that's the pumpkin spice. Yep, and if you guys left. know me, that's like one of my favorites. So I think it's the chicory root. Raw, 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 raw. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good there one. There you go. Wipe it. That was a good one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. 0.7, so I went up. My ketones went up from first thing this morning. Thank heavens. So, that's quite interesting for uh, me. But, how did Harry do? I don't know. Let's see. Point five. I'm my normal self. Well, you're Abby normal, but yeah. I, I love you anyway. Yeah, I know. I know. 94. Man, I stayed 94 all the way across the board. Point five. Let's see what I can turn out to here. I spiked a little bit, but not enough to do anything. Point five. 95. So I went up a little bit. Well, I'm glad that we did that because I've always wanted to do uh, the erythritol monk fruit sweeteners. Yeah. Interesting, huh? And the way totally my... different than I thought it was going to turn out. Really? Yeah. I really? It, I, oh, well, yeah, wait. I let's thought... talk about it in a minute. Let's talk about it in a minute. Your glucose is 95, your ketones are 0 0.5, and you are at 10.5. You're not in GKI ketosis, but you're in ketosis. So that's where he is I think at. I had to put the numbers at two down hours. over there. You should be in it. I am at a 7.4 GKI. I'm in a low level of GKI ketosis with a 94 glucose and a 0 0.7. I'm in ketosis for sure. Okay, everybody, we did two, we did four teaspoons or a tablespoon and a teaspoon in our black coffee of the erythritol monk fruit blend from Man, um, Lancanto confectioner sugar. Because I woke up with distressed stomach, I had intestinal issues and I still do. Um, Harry didn't feel well and my blood glucose went down from eating my cake. Now we've tested keto chow, you know, cream cheese, butter, all those things. The wild card was all the uh, erythritol and monk fruit and these lilies, Pumpkin spice chips. Now, the pumpkin spice chips, just because it's lilies, you guys read every single different flavor of ingredients because I did not check the back of this and it's got two things that flagged me. The first and foremost is dextrin and chicory root flour. So it's erythritol, cocoa butter, milk, and then dextrin, then chicory root fiber. I did not know that. I'm just thinking Lily's chocolates, no problem. These were given to me, these were a gift. I went in my pantry, found them, brought them out, all excited. Don't forget, just because it's made by this product and it's in the same kind of bag, if it's a different flavor, read. It's me, I did it. I, I'm my own worst enemy. I preach it all the time, and I didn't do what I preach at all. So I am thinking I cannot eat these. I cannot eat the no. pumpkin ones at all. No, Lily's about, you know, the only chocolate I've ever found that I could really eat well. Was that skinny stuff. Skinny, that had. yeah. Oh, now, yeah. I now they don't reached, make it. I have reached out to Chalk Zero because I'd like to do a uh, review and a, a test on their chocolates because I don't believe I've ever done their chocolates. I've had their syrups way back when. But anyway, I digress because I wanna share our results, which I feel are extremely fair and I am excited about. I woke up this morning with a 94 and a 0 0.50. Then I went to a 94 at 30 minutes, 110, at a 60 minutes and a 94 again with a 0 0.7 and a 7.4 GKI. Harry 
woke up with 105 glucose, a 0 0.5. Then he went to a 94 glucose, 89. He went down a little bit, back to 95 and a 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.5 with a 10.5 GKI. So as far as I'm concerned, the monk fruit of erythritol is a win-win. Which is totally different than what I thought was going to happen. Me too. I was amazed. I was. And I thought... Gee, we already did Lily's chocolates, but like Harry said, you know, he thought, oh, we've already done Lily's chocolate chips. No, we did Lily's caramel chocolate chips. We did not do these. Is that stuff in those two? I don't know. I need to go read it, but I don't remember because I don't have it. I don't have it with me. I do have. Well, if you don't have that, then forget it. I don't, but I have their regular um, milk chocolate style chocolate chips let me read the ingredients unsweetened chocolate erythritol chicory root fiber okay mm -hmm. guys i cannot eat lily's chocolate right. chips i can't if they all have chicory root fiber in them they're a no-go for me my they just rip my stomach up and I now, chicory root, see, when I first started having issues with it, I remember going back to Mississippi. They put chicory root in their coffee. They have forever and ever and ever. My grandma's coffee used to rip me up. And I just thought nothing about it. Now I'm thinking backwards on the things that had chicory root. And I found out, was it last year, that chicory root fiber bothered me. Yes. Was it last yep. year or two years ago? Well, now? it's been since we started this thing. So. Yeah, since we started keto. Yeah. Anyway, you guys. Reading all my comments about my cakes today and browned butter and watching Judy, like I said, from Naturopath, she did just the browned butter. She froze it. It was absolutely delicious. It's called carnivore toffee. And I thought, you know, everybody started throwing things at me. And I thought, you know what? These are such great ideas. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I just melted um, a cup of brown butter. This is the unsalted version. Let me see the side. Oh, it looks pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip it and I'm going to make myself a butter spread. You know, what is that amazing butter spread you get at Sam's Club? That's all the different flavors. Oh, and they amazing make the butter Sam spread? And they make the Sammies. They're Sammies? Spammies? Sammies? Anyway, you guys tell me in the Spammy comments below. Sammy? You know what I'm talking about. They make it with the garlic and stuff, but they make a cinnamon sweet one. So I'm going to make a cinnamon sweet one and i'm going to leave it in my refrigerator or i'm going to freeze some of this you guys because it's going to be perfect for toast <laughs> smear the browned butter with with cinnamon yes yeah, english toffee stevia and vanilla yes indeed or on my chaffles or anytime i want them but i'm going to make it two ways First, I'm gonna make it just plain because I wanna have some just plain. And then I'm gonna make some with the, the flavor to make it sweet. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna whip this real quick because we have a lunch date. Yeah, we got we're it. We're meeting pa it's Paula fun. and Al, our friends. Absolutely, we're going down to a place called Blazes and we're gonna meet them. So should we do this? How about you guys come back in the next segment and we'll make these. So here we sit. There's Wendy over there answering. Answering everybody on the uh, cake video. We're waiting for Paula and Al to get here. We're at Blaze's Pizza because she says they have keto pizzas here. I'm very excited to try them. Yeah. Yeah, I really am, you guys. So we're just waiting patiently, and I'm talking back to everybody right now as we wait for them to get here. So you guys will share what we order and why we order what we do. Because we love all pizza. All things pizza. Oh, yeah. All the, oh, yeah. So I don't know if it's going to be pizza in a bowl with no crust or how this is going to work. But we'll find out and we'll share and bring everybody along. Hey, everybody. We are at Blazes in downtown Tempe. And Paula and Al are taking us to Blazes to have pizza. And you guys, the crust is Keto and Paula is a advocate for clean, healthy keto. She is very cognizant of the fact of the ingredients and all of those things, and it passes her approval. So I'm all in. We have I have half Alfredo sauce, half red sauce. 
I put mozzarella cheese, goat cheese, Parmesan cheese. I have uh, calamala olives, mushrooms, uh, pestos drizzled over the top, and what else? Sausage. And what do you guys have? These look delicious. They have ham. Yeah, with I've got ham. I've got black olives, mushrooms, basil, white sauce throughout. Ovalini mozzarella, goat's cheese, feta cheese, and parmesan cheese. And I think uh, or Al, bacon and pepperoni. Al has the red. And then right? he has the white sauce as well, ham, uh, sausage, uh, a little bit of onions, uh, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, calamaro olives, some green inch. and some basil. Doing a taste okay. test just for you guys, just for you. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. like that, huh? Mmm, mmm. Yep. That's a good crust. I know, this is good. I had a mm. bite of mine already. Mmm. It's kind of like, uh, it's a, I call it the everything pizza. Look at that. Everything mm. that's healthy for you. That's really good. Mm. What is it got? What's it made out of? Poor Paula. I the asked crust? her if she's got a mouthful of pizza. The crust? Yeah, yeah. the keto crust. The crust has no almond flour. No. Okay. At all, no almond flour. Um, it's made mostly of egg whites, um, a little cauliflower, I believe, um, flax seed, whey protein. Probably salt and pepper. Salt, salt garlic, yeah. you know, a few of those things. And uh, at the very, very bottom, I will say it has a tiny bit of rice starch or something. Something. But it's there. the uh, almost the last ingredient. Um, so really, it's just got no nuts. It's got no um, soy or anything. So it's it's the cleanest one I found that I don't have to make myself. <laughs> yeah, right. That's that's what I like. And something to remember: if it says cauliflower crust. Ask for the ingredients because I bet you it may say cauliflower, but I bet you it's gluten. I bet you they put wheat into it because the one here they don't, but the cauliflower crust here is actually just gluten free. That's all. It's not a keto pizza crust because the second or third ingredient is like, you know, rice flour, it probably has cornstarch and all these things. So it's a gluten free crust, but it's not a keto crust. Okay. Perfect. Not keto friendly, I should say. Right. Perfect. Anyway, now. Bye. Gotta eat now. Gotta eat now. <laughs> okay, you guys, this was our last GKI and glucose and ketones test of the day right here. Okay, you guys, we're going to do the last glucose ketone test of the day. Yes, we are. We had delicious pizza, pizza that blazes let's with Paula and, I'm curious to see and Al. Happens. Yeah, let's see that pizza, right? Wow, that was a great place to do my finger. Look on the back side of your ring finger, or opposite. Come on. Five, oh, point five. I'm in ketosis. Well, we'll see. Didn't it buzz? Hold this, little boy. Hold that, little boy. Can you guys see it? Marty, be good. Mark. Four. Yep. 109. That's me. I'm 109. You didn't do nothing. This is Harry's. You know, I'm getting weak after all the blood I've been giving. 94, that's not bad. Oh, actually, did so, fine. Yeah, so the you pizza did. didn't bother me that much. No, yet. not really. So let's let's do our uh, glucose. Not in GKI ketosis. I was 109 and 0 0.5, 12.1, Harry's right, and it is at uh, 612. So I'll put mine over here. Let me look at yours. You were even worse. 13.0, 9.4, and 0.4, you guys. And that's where we are. Hey, you guys, come back because I've got something super easy, simple, and delicious to share. Neither one of us was in GKI, but uh, Harry was at least in ketosis. I was 0.4 on that. So didn't work out so well for me. Hey, you guys, have you tried? So I'll... 
This is watermelon in it. Barely, it barely, it barely has a watermelon taste. It's. I think I got these at Safeway, and they're very good. I love them. One thing I am is thirsty from all that pepperoni oh, and yeah, sausage man, on good. our pizza. I'm anxious to see what my glucose and ketones and weight are tomorrow from having that pizza. It was amazing. And if you guys haven't tried Blazes, make sure you ask for the keto crust. The keto crust. And all of their ingredients are really clean. Now, I took a cup of butter and I browned it. Put it in the refrigerator while we were gone and i have got it and i'm going to put it right here in this little mixing bowl because i want to beat it yes i do but i want to add some deliciousness to it because you guys i think i'm going to make some toast tomorrow and what better thing to yeah, have on toast, plain man. toast than cinnamony vanilla -y, butter caramely butter oh yeah oh yeah this butter is so good so delicious Yes, indeed it is. Like I said, um, I've always browned my butter for eggs, but never thought of it as being something to use for sweets, right? And then I was watching um, Judy from Na the Naturopath Doctor. I forgot the name. It's Judy's Keto Cooking, I think, or something like that. Anyway, she made the plain straight uh, toffee butter. And I thought, well, heck. I'm going to put some cinnamon in mine. You can eat it just like this, but I want mine as spread for my bread. Spread for my bread, spread for my toast, spread for my chocolate. Yeah, it's funny. You know, we've always had it for all this time for years, years and stuff. I've always browned yeah. it. One half teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to put a half teaspoon of vanilla yes I have yeah I never thought of it as going in cakes or icings or yeah, anything right? isn't that weird but it sure adds flavor to eggs I'm telling you yeah I love it on my eggs I liked it in the cake now you can brown butter and put it in barbecue sauces and oh my gosh my mind just went woo all the things and then you guys are telling me all the things you can do with it and I'm just going you know what I have to make a spread because I'm making chaffles tomorrow Oh, we are? Yeah. And I'm putting it, I'm, I'm using this. And this just will stay because it's not going to go bad. It's butter, right? All right. And um, so I just put a quarter of a teaspoon of better stevia. You can put flavoring, natural monk fruit, whatever sweetener of your choice or no sweetener. Just some cinnamon in that, right? Let me put this over here. Now, frog in the room. Frog in the room. Yep, yep. Big one. Yeah, it's from all Big that chicory. Toad. It's that chicory root is still bothering you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not good. I'm very upset with all of this chocolate. You guys may not have issues with, with chicory root, but I sure as heck do. Okay, I'm going to turn this on low and just whip it. Now, yeah, oh yeah. Hey, one belongs to me. Oh man, I got one. Mm -hmm. On toast. Mmm. Uh. Yeah? Uh -huh. On toast? Yeah. I think I want to put just a little bit of erythritol monk fruit in there here. Just a little bit. Just a, sm a sprinkling of it. Probably about a teaspoon. Some people don't like stevia. It's, it's bitter to them. So... And we tested this today, and it does not bother us. Right? Yep. Put this on a spread. Oh, let me taste this. 
I'm sure if you overeat it though. Well, sure you put off a lot in that coffee. Oh my god. Yeah, but you know the weird thing, you guys. Didn't have we that. put four teaspoons of erythritol in our coffee, yeah. and it was not sweet. Yeah, it wasn't I sweet. I know was that weird. sounds weird to some of you. It was not sweet. Nope. It's not sweet it's at like all. It's like the coffee oh, killed it. I know something. what I said I would do. I said I would put some salt in this for you. That's right. I shouldn't have. Well, I'll just put a half a teaspoon of salt and we'll just stir it in. That's what you're missing. You're missing your salt. Because I used uh, um, uh, sweetened salt, unsalted butter. And this is hairy in mine, so I can taste it. Yeah. Amazing. Let me try it. Wow. Just give me some off that. Salted butter is the way to go. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Salted butter. you yeah. got to have the salt. That's what it was missing, you guys. Wow. Now, here's the deal. I've got these little um, hearts that hold a little bit more than a teaspoon. But if I smear these in, we can pop them out and pop them right into our coffee, or yep. I can put it back in the mold. Oh, put, put them in there. Put, at least make some, right? Mm-hmm. Just do it like when you lay tile. Yeah. That's what I was gonna do. Trowel it in. Yeah. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Harry and I are home. Uh, we've, we've built a whole house and then two additions on top of that. Another house. A couple, couple of garages, remodels, haven't we, dear? Yeah, we did a lot of stuff. We have. I loved it. Yeah, it was fun. Yep. Kids didn't love it because we were always building. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no wall there anymore. Mom! Yeah, they had to put up with, with the building. The all my film reels and stuff inside. Oh yeah, they had to build with costumes, props. Yes, the garage was the haunted house for Halloween. Yeah, we built them a haunted house. One with all of our props for the movie theater stuff that we did. The horror movies, yes. Yes, I said horror movies. Do I like them? No. Do I ever watch them? Absolutely no. not. What, did I work on them? Yeah. Yes, I did. Props, makeup, Special effects, yes. Yes, indeed, I did. That's neat, huh? Yep. And you just stick it in the uh, freezer? freezer, right? Yep. And then you can pop one out because it's a silicon mold right. for your coffee. Because I'm telling you, this would be delicious in your fat coffee in the morning. There we go. You can clean it up with your finger or with a napkin. If this was tile, we'd wait and let it set up and then we'd wash it, of course. But it's not tile. It's butter, and butter is better. Yes, it is. For the, anybody who's laid tile, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Those are done. They're going in the fridge. Freezer. Freezer eater. Freezer. Freezer. Well, so why do you want them in the freezer? Or I'm going to refrigerate them because they're going to go in our coffee. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. They don't have to be frozen. If I were just going to pop them out and eat them, I could put them I don't think they'll pop out if they're soft. Okay. I'll put them in the freezer. And then the rest just goes right back in the butter dish that I used to make it in. So I'm not making a ton of... Messes. Messes. For the husband to clean up. That's right. For the husband to clean up, actually. I've been doing dishes lately, and you've got to say yes because you know it. You what? know it, baby. I know what. I have been making dishes. 
washed. I've been washing dishes. Yes, you have. You've washed okay, a couple. You guys, of, you've washed a couple of dishes. You have to use salted butter because it it really does bring it to a yeah, whole new level. Yeah, it does. It, it, you got to have. It was butter. flat without it. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh. You got to make, make it with salted. Don't make it. Yes, with, uh, make it with salted butter. Don't be stingy. That's what you needed. Just put this in. This? Yep, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator because this is what I am using to smear on my chaffles tomorrow. Yes. Mm. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god. Oh. That, Look at that. That's butter, that you is, guys. That is melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So a quarter, two sticks of the butter or a cup, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, more or less to your taste, a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla, or a flavoring of your choice. Uh, better stevia, English toffee, quarter of a teaspoon of, or of your choice, a half of a teaspoon of Redmond real salt. And I did put in about you know, a Wendy, teaspoon. I, I think they're gonna need a recipe for this. You think so? Oh yeah. Okay, I'll write it up, you guys. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. So, it's going in my fridge, on top of the rest of the cake. And we are done with that. Tomorrow is a regular eating day because I'm making chaffles and I'm using my butter. Yes, I am, you guys. Tomorrow's a regular keating food, keating food day. It's a regular keto food day, you guys. And we're gonna enjoy it, but we are gonna do our fasting glucose and ketones. And then we're gonna do that at the end of the day as well. But I already know what I'm making tomorrow. Do you? Anyway, you guys, I think we're pretty much done here. Yeah. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. I'll put a little brown butter recipe that I'm going to make, that I made, down in the comments below for everybody because it's really, really good. It's delicious. And you don't even need to put that uh, erythritol monk fruit in it because the salt kicked it up a whole new notch. Yeah. So if you use salted butter, and I'll put it in the recipe. I'll make a recipe. You come see it. Good night, everybody. There's a dog. She ate. You she, fed her. I know. I fed her. So she's wiped done. out from the day, she's man. Done. She's she went, done. She's laying down on the couch sleeping. Well, we went to see Grandma and took Grandma for a walk. I pushed the wheelchair. We all walked with her. She really enjoyed it. So it was a fun day overall. And we had pizza. Yes, we did.